Well, guys, uh, show and tell continues. Uh, this here is one of my favorites, um, and a, a quick story, and this really illustrates a great plant to talk about that illustrates the difference between a landscape plant and a wildlife plant. Sawtooth oak, uh, Quercus acutissima. Um, this fast-growing tree is, is uh, it's successful and prolific across a broad range, um, but what's really interesting to me is that I've tried to push these in the landscape community for many, many years, uh, and they're frowned upon for the most part by the landscape architecture community right. because they hang on to uh, their leaves throughout the winter and they look completely dead. Yeah. You may run across the guy who thinks that the noise is interesting and, and cool, but other than that, they, they really are not uh, a highly desirable landscape right. plant. Right. They also produce, uh, generally speaking, uh, they're big time uh, nut producers, oh, yeah. which again produces litter which you don't want in pedestrian spaces, particularly if, they're, if there's hardscape underneath them. Yeah, yeah. For wildlife, we've got a different uh, set of circumstances that we're worried about. Why don't you talk about it for a minute? Yeah, the, this is the first plant that I really became familiar with when I was uh, back in the 70s that uh, was, was from, from India or Asia. It's, uh, the interesting thing about it was it was brought here uh, by the U.S. Forest Service when they first started clear cutting. And, bottoms. Yeah, then they, they got a lot of criticism about cutting all the oaks in a clear cut. And so this was going to be the, the savior for, uh, for the oak crop, the acorn crop. And so they just brought them in and they, they just ran out there and they clear cut a stand of trees and they just ran out and jammed these things in the ground. And the Providence, who knows where they came from. Uh, as it turned out, uh, you got to give some maintenance to these trees. The first three years, you need to prune them. That real, that's really a good thing to do. The other thing that turned out was they weren't selected on, on even though they were picked out for wildlife, they weren't selected on acorn production. So you've got to be careful. This is one of those places you can get in trouble just going to a box store somewhere and just buying one because you don't know if you've got one that is an early fruiter and a heavy fruiter or you've got one you're going to wait 25 years for. Mm -hmm. So that's you got to make sure you've talked about provenance before. That right. is critical, critical in these things. Dr. Creech, what's your experience in planting these we have in, in one different zones? Yeah, well, it'll go farther, much farther north up into northern Arkansas. I know they're in Fayetteville. Uh, we have one we planted in 88, and it's this big around, and it's the term for holding that foliage is called marquescence. And basically it holds its foliage all the way through the winter just before new growth stops that basically sheds, sheds the leaves. I never have thought of that as a negative characteristic because it still provides you some shade. This is kind of an open crown tree, so there's quite stately. a bit of light. It's a stately tree, it looks good, and uh, it'll fool you in terms of its size. Yeah, um, so this is one that you'll see uh, us promoting over and over and over again. It's gonna be a part of almost every deer orchard kit, regardless of uh, USDA hardiness zones. So uh, highly recommended, it's available now. Yeah, and it, it just uh, as an aside, a humorous point, is I did a special, on this tree more than once for North American Whitetail Television. And I talked a lot about sawtooth oak and I got an email from a guy that wanted to know where he could get those razor oaks. So it's sawtooth, not razor oak. Yeah, I wish I had them. Um, I wish I had some of the acorns here with me right now because they're really interesting. The, 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 what do you, what's the term, what's the right term for the cap that they form that has the um, fibrous, almost mossy like? Cusp. Okay, yeah, yeah well. Yeah. Uh, like we said before, this is a winner. You'll see it across our platforms, across our uh, product catalogs. Uh, it's it's going to give you success. And, and let me jump in with one last thing. Is it is in our suite of fruit and nut producers, this is an early, or yes. probably as early an acorn. acorn producer as they are. So you've got, for you bow hunters, this is a great one to have. Um, for guys that are from the South, this compared to a live oak will we'll yeah. drop nuts how, how far in advance? Oh, probably a week or two probably.